Project Healing Waters was the idea of a retired Navy captain who was being treated in Walter Reed Hospital back in 2006 and 2007. And he remembered um, just how peaceful it was. He was struggling with his uh, uh, with his treatments and things like that. And remembered how peaceful it was it was when he used to go fly fishing where he grew up. So he would go on the weekends and go fly fishing. And as he passed through the hospital, he would go by a trauma unit and there were three young guys there that were really struggling, struggling a lot. They had come back from combat. There were, uh, uh, at least two of them were severely injured in combat, combat related injuries. And um, he just went up to one of the guys one day and said, hey, you wanna go fishing? <laughs> And out of that, it started um, in two, about 2007. We are now 240 programs, programs nationwide. We have one in Alaska. Uh, and um, we literally help veterans heal through taking their minds off of their injuries, just taking them fishing. As we can see, fish don't live in ugly places. You know? and, so we just take them fishing, teach them how to make their own rods, how to tie their own flies. And um, that and the camaraderie in a community of veterans is just has this healing power. You know, it's amazing. It really is amazing. And what I wanted to create as part of my educational program for my uh, veterans was uh, almost like a master's class in angling where you fish over wild fish, which is a completely different experience than fishing over stock fish. And I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it, but I knew this part of the state, the Shenandoah National Hot Park. And last fall, I just got this random phone call. This young volunteer by the name of Chandler, we can get a grant to bring more veterans into the park. I go, whoa, there's my funding for this wild trout trip that I've always wanted to do. It is a team grant between Shenandoah National Park and Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing Virginia Region. So it's a joint project uh, uh, sponsored by the National Park Foundation. And they have been absolutely tremendous in their support of what we're doing. So, uh, you know, I have actually read the book about the Hoover King, but it's been a long time. And I know it was just uh, that, that Back in the late 20s and early 30s, it was still only like a two, two and a half hour drive from Washington, and they could get away for long weekends. And President Cooper was an avid angler and enjoyed the streams here and the camp. I understand they had some pretty serious head of state meetings here, and 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 presidential level decisions were made here. Always being overseen by the Marines that literally built the camp. And they stayed a little ways away, just out of eyesight, but close enough to where they could protect the president. Which, you know, I, to me, the history of it is wonderful. Rapidan is a real challenge because Rapidan is the access, the stream access it, it, it is a struggle. The guys have to crawl over the rocks and it's a completely different fishing experience for them because they're fishing small pools that are in the other places we've taken fishing that's about where they stand and they they cast 35 to 40 feet here they don't get a six foot cast and it's completely different and, and here they don't catch 24 inch fish either if they catch a six inch fish they've caught a large fish we are a community and a family uh, as an organization. We're not, you know, there are a lot of very well-deserving veteran support organizations out there that teach skills and then give people resources to further their pursuit of those particular hobbies or skills. But we build relationships. Makes your heart much bigger. It makes your heart bigger than you would ever think it could be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.